peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of the cross. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. For the righteous man is taken away from calamity. He enters into peace. They rest in their beds who walk in their uprightness. But the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. So then, let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son in truth and love. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Peace.